Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Board of today's show presented by Panda Sups. It's the summertime. It's time to ditch the dad bod and actually start looking pretty damn good. I know Def Jasper, he never takes any days off. Neither should y'all. Go to pandasups.com for 25% off if you use code Raiders on all the best workout supplements on the market. So coming up here on today's show... We're going to be looking at our Raiders 53-man roster projection after mandatory minicam. Now, the way that I did this show is I tried to structure it based off of what I think McDaniels and Ziegler would do on top of that of if the season started today, okay? I get it. It's a little bit different. If the season started today, what that 53-man roster would end up looking like. If you like 53-man roster projections, if you're trying to stay up to date on all the latest news and rumors, if you want Raiders content every single day, take a second, hit that subscribe button, make sure those notifications are turned on. And here at Chat Sports, we're doing a battle. Who can get the most subs in the month of June? And I'm giving shout-outs to every single new sub on this channel. So shout-out to Buffett. 831, Big Sal, Andre, Klutz, and then Doe Boy. Appreciate all of y'all tuning in and subscribing to the Raiders Sport. And if you know people that are diehard Raider fans, take that link below, youtube.com slash Raidersport. Send it to some people and say, hey, go subscribe. So right now, we're going to start from offense. We're going to work our way down to the defensive side of the football and the quarterbacks, you got Garoppolo, Hoyer, Aiden O'Connell, Chase Garbers. Well, guess what? Nothing's really going to change for me here. The Raiders are going to keep Garoppolo. They're going to keep Brian Hoyer. They're going to keep the rookie, Aiden O'Connell. The numbers that you see next to all the players is me counting out the 53-man roster with you. So that way we can keep track and go as it, uh, as it continues to go. So let's go to the Raiders running back room here. Jacobs, Amir, Zamir, Jacob Johnson, a lot of depth at this position. Could they keep a Brandon Bolden, who's a McDaniels and Ziegler guy? I love me some sincere McCormick. Brent Brown, the Raiders drafted in the seventh round of the 2022 NFL Draft. And then there's also Austin Walter. The last time that I did this show, I had the Raiders keeping... I believe five running backs and then slash the fullback as well, like Jacob Johnson. I'll be honest, man. I, I encourage everybody to make their own 53 because when I did it this time, I had the Raiders keeping only three running backs and a fullback. And it's simply because if Jacobs is the best running back in the NFL, if Amir Abdullah can offer you that third down back, and then Zamir White can be – who's he's going to get more reps this season – like, that's what I want. And not every single NFL team keeps a fullback. In fact, I think last season only 11 teams kept a fullback. So if you're going to keep a fullback, you got to make tough decisions. you got to move on from other people. And realistically, I decided to keep more players on the defensive side of the football. I want more depth on D. Giggity. Kind of. So I cut Brandon Bolden. I moved on from some other players that I do like. My question to you is this. How many running backs... Will the Raiders keep on their 53-man roster? Moving on from Sincere McCormick, it was tough. It really was. If the Raiders had a better defense, I probably would have kept them. But I want to know from every single person that comes across this video, how many running backs will the Silver and Black keep on their 53-man roster? What was that? Pin comment? I got gotcha. you. Chokes wants this to be the pin comment, so scroll on down right now. You're about to get with a YouTube ad break. Let me know how many RBs make the roster. Let's go to the wide receiver position now, arguably the deepest position on offense because you got the best receiver in the NFL in Devontae Adams. You got Jacoby Myers, who's going to be working outside and in the slot. Hunter Renfro, he is still on this team. The Raiders have yet to receive any trade requests for him. And then everything after that, it, it does, man. It, it gets pretty interesting. I see that this organization is going to keep six wide receivers. You're obviously going to keep Adams, Ma Jacoby Myers, and like I said in the beginning of the video, I am going to go based off if the season started today because I want to go a little bit different from my previous 53-man roster projection. So I'm going to keep Hunter Renfro. You're obviously going to keep Trey Tucker, who you drafted in the third round, 100 overall. DeAndre Carter has a lot of special teams value. You're going to end up keeping him. And then Philip Dorsett has had a pretty solid minicamp on top of his 
past connections with Ziegler and McDaniels is why I decided to end up keeping Philip Dorsett. So we got an updated Raiders roster projection after mandatory minicamp here on the Raiders report. And we still got some more positions to get into, but guess what? If you're using Panda Supps, you're probably going to have yourself a tight end because you're in the gym working on your fitness. So let's go to the position group here. Austin Hooper, Michael Mayer, OJ Howard. The Raiders signed Hooper and Howard this offseason. Jesper Horstead has some connections. You drafted Michael Mayer in the second round. And then you got a UDFA in Schnecker. And then last season's UDFA in Cole Fotheringham. So for me, I'm only going to keep three tight ends. I do anticipate that this roster uses a lot of two tight end sets. But there was just a clear tier drop-off and other team needs that I wanted to be able to stack up on on the defensive side of the football, which is why I have them keeping Hooper, Mayer, and O.J. Howard. And honestly, this is one of the more underrated tight end groups in the National Football League. Let's now go to the offensive line where this is really, really difficult for me for the simple fact of there is a lot of depth. There's a lot of versatility, and I could see the Raiders going a multitude of ways. But because I am doing this show based on right now, and if the season were to start right now, here are the nine offensive linemen that I believe that the Raiders would keep. I'll be real with y'all. Not keeping McClendon Curtis stinks. I want Curtis to make this team because I believe he has the opportunity to be a solid offensive lineman. But I also know that the Raiders like versatility. And Brandon Parker... Swing tackle. Alex Bars can play center and offensive guard. Thayer Munford can play offensive tackle and can play right guard. Greg Van Roten, a lot of versatility. So for those reasons is why I decided to keep nine offensive linemen. Now, we got coming up here on today's show presented by Panda Supps. We're going to get into the defensive side of the football. However, before we go to the defense, I do want to talk about Panda Supps and how, honestly, man, like they've helped me lose probably close to 15 pounds over the last three months. Y'all know we get crazy during the season, and that's just the way that it goes. But here's the thing. I want to show the love to all of y'all. Go to pandasubs.com. Use code Raiders for 25% off. They just dropped some of their new BCA plus EAA. For those of you watching this live, when I go home tonight, I'm going to take a scoop of some BCAs. When I wake up tomorrow morning before my flight to Vegas, I'm going to take some BCAs. Why? I need to be hydrated, and it helps you recover after the gym. And also, if you have a crazy day of drinking, it helps you recover in that regard as well. So for me personally, if I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to work out in the morning, I want to get the most out of my workout. I'm going to take some BCAs. I'm going to take some test booster right before I go hit the gym. If anybody out there is like, dude, I wish that I could be 20 years old again, Take some of the test booster, pandasubs.com. Use code Raiders for 25% off. And if you're trying to shed a few extra pounds because it is the summer and you're trying to ditch that dad bod, I recommend their thermogenics. Their cuts and their burn products are both phenomenal. Burn extra calories while you're just sitting at home, chilling, hanging out. Their BCAs on top of that, they make a great drink. Like, this sounds crazy to y'all, but to me... The flavors are so incredible. They got the watermelon. I love the peach. Alex is a big fan of the melon, which when we go out shopping, we always go out. We get this like melon drink that she gets. She loves it. The pink lemonade is incredible. I hope I hope Merbod's okay with me saying this, the owner of Panda Supps, diehard Raider fan. They're great mixers. You can stay hydrated. You can also get some great BCAs and have a good drink as well. I'm telling y'all right now, Panda Supps is revolutionizing the workout supplement game. Pandasups.com. Code's going to be available for y'all down in the comments and in the description of today's video. Let's go to the defensive side of the football now. You know that the Raiders are going to keep Crosby, Chandler Jones, Tyree Wilson. Where this conversation gets interesting is who is going to be the fourth, potentially fifth, defensive end that the Silver and Black keep? I know that they have, like Jordan Willis. Adam Plant Jr. has been an absolute dog at minicamp. But then there's Malcolm Kuntz. There's George Tarlis. There's Martin. There's Abuka Agoa. 
I'm going to go a little bit of a different route here and say that the Silver and Black decide to keep five edge rushers. Why? Because of all the question marks that is on this team at this position. Chandler Jones suffered a season-ending injury. He's getting up there in age. Was not all that great last season. Four and a half sacks. Tyree Wilson battling an injury right now. Jordan Willis did not participate in any mini camp practices battling an injury right now. So for that reason, I'm going to keep Adam Plant Jr. I believe to me he's got enough versatility. He's got enough heart. He's, he's a coachable guy where I'm a big believer if there are opportunities and you take advantage of those opportunities, you should be awarded for that. So guess what? I am keeping Adam Plant Jr. And if you want, the Raiders can, again, keep David Agoa because he's on that international pathway program, so you can have the 51 players on your roster. Let's go to the defensive tackle now, and this group has been getting a lot of attention at minicamp for the simple fact of there is a lot of question marks. This was the Raiders' biggest team need entering the offseason, and there is some solid depth here according to the latest reports. Here's the thing, though. I'm going to go with the players that I believe I have the most confidence in. And as it stands right now, I'm going to keep Bilal Nichols. I'm going to keep Byron Young, who the Raiders drafted at 74 overall in this past year's draft. Neil Farrell Jr. sounds like he's doing a lot better. Adam Butler has been very impressive this offseason. Jerry Tillery and Nesta Jade Silvera, those are the six defensive tackles that I'm keeping. Which now means we're going to go to the linebacker position. And this might have been one of the most difficult positions to be able to break down for the simple fact of you could see a lot of different routes here. They're going to keep Divine Diablo. He's wearing the green dot. Robert Spillane, they signed to a two-year, $9 million deal, so they're going to keep him. Armari Bernie, they're going to keep him as well. I'm going to tell you all right now, this was the 53rd player to make my roster. His name was Luke Masterson. Masterson, I thought, did a halfway decent job filling in last season. He's got that extra year in the Patrick Graham system. And because they like versatility and special teams, that's where Masterson gets the nod. But if the Raiders are very confident in Isaiah Polomeo's ability to also play linebacker, I could see them keeping Isaiah Polomeo and maybe keeping another safety on their 53. But for my roster projection, I decided to keep Luke Masterson. Let's now go to the cornerback room here for the Silver and Black. Duke Shelley, Tyler Hall, Nate Hobbs, all locks to make it. Brandon Faison, locked to make it. Ja'Korian Bennett. Drafted in round four, traded up to get him 103 overall. He is a lock to make it. So now that means essentially you're looking at Ike Brown. You're looking at Amik Robertson, Sam Webb. You're looking at Bryce Cosby, Grant, Azizi Hearn. A lot of different areas to go here because I am a believer in talent. I just think that David Long Jr. is the more talented, superior player compared to somebody like Sam Webb. And I love Amik Robertson, but this team's going to go with their guys. And for that reason, I'm going to keep David Long Jr. over Amik Robertson. Before I show you who are the special teams players and the safeties that make this team, if you all want to interact with me and yell at me, or you want to ask me questions on social media, it's at MitchellRent365. If anybody wants a cool Father's Day gift, I've had a few Father's Day requests recently on Cameo, at MitchellRent365, a great birthday gift birthday day gift as well and then if you want extra live shows every single monday every single wednesday 9 p.m eastern time raidersreport.locals.com let's go to the safety room here you're going to keep marcus epps there's been some rumors around merrick however he has looked very solid during minicamp so they're going to end up keeping him they're going to end up keeping chris smith on top of that which means you can only keep one more player as a safety. So are you going to keep an Isaiah Polomeo, who made the 53-man roster last year? Are you going to keep a Roderick Teamer, who gets you know love for being a solid special teams player? Or are you going to keep a Jaquan Johnson, who you signed in free agency? Well, I'm going to go with the player that offers you the most versatility. I'm going to keep Isaiah Polomeo, who has the connections with the coaching staff, is related to Kennedy Palomalu, related to Troy Palomalu on top of that. And because of that versatility, they end up keeping him. But I'm telling you, Isaiah Polomeo and then Luke Masterson, they were 52 and 53. This team could decide to go with a few different sides. And then 
it's the Raiders special teams group where they're just going to keep Daniel Carlson a kicker. They're going to keep A.J. Cole as the punter. And then they're going to keep Jacob Bobbin Moyer as the long safety. Huh? Not quite. It's Bobbin Moyer. So that is my Raiders 53-man roster projection after mandatory minicamp. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. My question to you is this, because I know I left somebody off. Who did I leave off my 53-man roster? I Every single year that I do this show, I always, I'll say the five years that I've done it, I'm batting like 90. Like I, I get 90% of it right. But there's always a surprise every single season. So, who did I leave off my 53-man roster? If you made it this far in the video, take a second. Go show some love to Def Jasper. I swear to y'all, I did not plan on wearing the 53 for the 53-man roster, but it does end up working out. If you love videos like this, if you want more free Raiders content, take a second right now, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications. That way, you never miss a video.